everybody, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> today I've got a journal to share with you guys. This is a design team project for Butterbee Scraps. Um, you've seen a couple of their items I've used before, and uh, today I've used some of their items here for the um, charm that I made for this journal. So I'm really, um, you guys know I'm not. I'm not into jewelry making, so um, this was a great opportunity to start trying to um, improve my skills. <laughs> but it's uh, what I've used from Butterbee Scraps is this beautiful bee um, metal piece. I love that, absolutely love it. And um, then I've just added that to the spine of the journal. And then um, I'm trying to think. Uh, this is a 4x6 journal with a 3 signature. Um, each signature has been sewn in with a 5 <coughs> hole pamphlet stitch. And then I've um, the closure is Sorry Silk. Um, to create the cover I took some um, muslin. I stamped some bees and um, honeycomb image on there and then I came back and did some layering. Um, this has got several kits um, because you guys know I had a lot of leftover from um, other journals so I thought it was a good time to just start incorporating all of them together and they all went together nicely. Um, <coughs> kits that have been used are Artie Mays, Be in the Garden, Seneca Pond Crafts, The Practical Beekeeping, um, and then other images that I just found on Pinterest and um, just online searches. So i just get started. Um, the cover I made using, um, I followed, uh, well I was inspired by Artie Mays in her uh, Junk in the Trunks um, series. She had taken um, some cardboard and created a cover and so I've just kind of followed Artie Mays and I just attached the fabric to it and then I came back in and covered the inside with um, scrapbook paper and then I did lots of layering so it's a very rustic journal um, I don't think I've done one quite like this before so if you're looking for something that's very perfect this is not going to be the journal for you because it is very um, rustic as you can see you can still see some of the corrugated cardboard but I love the look of it I'm really happy to how it's come out and I like the mix of the kits together because <clears throat> I'm trying to get away from being so matched everything coordinating it's it's an area that I have difficulty in you guys know so this was a lot of fun because it took me outside of my comfort zone so um, I created a double pocket, started the journal with black thread, but I'll be honest, I had to switch over to um, white thread because um, I'm having a lot of issues with my machine at the moment. It's balling up underneath, which I've checked. It seems to be a tension issue. That, I don't think, is the problem I'm having, but regardless, I've had to switch over, so there's not going to be a lot of the black stitching, which I'm disappointed in, but I still think it's come out really pretty. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to do... I may end up having to take the machine in and, and get some advice, but I'm going to keep playing around and try a different uh, thread because this was a really um, not a great brand of black thread so I'm hoping that that's the issue but I don't know so if you've got any advice below please leave um, a comment um, like I said I've, I've checked this, the tension and I don't think that's the problem but it, anyways um, going within the journal I've done um, fabric tabs in all of the signatures I've just done various tucks and pockets um, like I said, just it's just a real mix of things that I had and um, was able to find online and print out. So um, everything's been tea dyed. Um, this 
was just off the internet. I love that. It's Bumblebee Species of Britain. So I just folded that up and tucked that in a little pocket here. Some tea dyed tracing paper. Edith Holden paper, book page. Um, some stenciling I've done. I just recently picked up the um, it's the Tim Holtz um, Wild Honey. I just picked this up with a shop here in town that's going on a business, so I got that um, half off, so I thought I'd give it a try, and I really like the color that's come out, so that was fun to play with. Um, just more uh, honey uh, bee papers, that I, and I've backed and done some stitching. Here I've created um, a fabric pocket that's been hand stamped and then um, some more images that I've stitched around and one of the tiny envelopes so that can be glued or just used as another bit of journaling space. Lots of, of writing space. I think I think this has got a, close to 130 pages. I don't know off the top of my head, but it will be in the listing because this is going to be, um, by the time this is live, this will have been listed in my shop and I will include the link below. And I'll also include the link for the two kits um, from Seneca Pond and Artie Mays in the link below. and. Um, Butterbee Scrapbooks uh, link to the charms that I used in this. I really like these papers. Just another little image I found online and printed. Some more vintage paper. And here I've done a uh, flip up. So you got some secret writing. And just a bit of um, some baking paper that I've got. It's got a bit of a texture to it, so nice crinkly sound. And here I've done, <coughs> excuse me, an altered book clip, or paper clip, and then I backed this image I got off the internet, and then here's another little um, envelope that's, I'll have to re-glue that, I don't know why that didn't stick. I've switched over my glues, and um, the the one I've been using, uh, it's, it's not working that well, so I'll have to sort that out. I'm trying to not use the Fabri-Tac or, you know, the Beacon 3-in-1. I love that glue, but I'm trying not to use it um, as much because I do think it's irritating my throat. So, yeah, I'm going to have to come up with a good glue, I think. If you guys have any suggestions that doesn't, you know, I, I can't take the fumes in here. So, I just leave in the comments below anything that you can recommend that's a really quick drying and uh, strong glue. Because I've picked up a few um, in the last couple of weeks off of Amazon. These are just some more uh, tags. And um, one of them, oh, uh, it's it's a PVA, which I didn't expect it to be a really good glue, but um, I can't even get it to come out of the, you know, it just frustrates me when you buy these items and uh, and they, they, you can't even get them out and use them, so there's another big <laughs> waste. Of, I've got so much glue, guys, but I find that... Um, There's another little pocket. I love those images. Um, you have to try them, and unfortunately, I, I'm not having a lot of luck because um, 
which is why I end up using the Beacon 3-in-1 so often, but it's just not um, agreeing with my voice at the moment. Here's another tag. I did some stamping. Um, quite a bit of stitching throughout the journal, like I said, because I've had to switch over to the white um, or the natural colored thread. It's not showing up as much as it would with the black. Here's another one of the fabric pockets. I really love how those have come out. And just a couple more journaling cards. Some more ledger paper. And another fabric tab. A bit more of the Edith Holden. And then these were from Artie Mae's kit. And I just, um, you know, put um, to print out two copies per page. So they came out small enough they could, they would fit nicely into this little journal. And this is another envelope and another paper clip. I love that those have come out. A couple more tag and uh, journal card. And this pocket's been sewn in. That's from the um, Seneca Pond kit. Another tag and a small tag. So you got a double pocket on the back and then that's the back with my label on it and there's the little charm. So there you go guys. Um, this is going to be listed in my shop and like I said I'll put the links below for um, butter scrap and then the kits that I did use in this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I appreciate it. I'm going to be doing my drawing for my giveaway soon so if you haven't entered that you'll have to go back through my videos and um, find the one for the giveaway because that's coming up very soon guys. So um, hope everybody's having a great start to the week and I'll see you here soon. Bye!